I've grown up in just a normal council estate. My mum's cleaner and my dad's a factory worker. And now here I am in the Nancy Mansion, like a million bedrooms. My first job was playing Velma in Scooby-Doo. Because of the way I look and because of the way I speak, people look at me and think, oh, she's the kind of kooky sidekick part. We'll put her in for comedy value, you know? <laughs> But now the fact that someone like Andrew Lloyd Webber has seen me perform and think that I can now really shine as the leading lady, it's really lovely. I feel like so confident and stuff now. It's brilliant. It's changed my life completely. I live in North West London with my mum and my brother. You know, it's not the best of areas, but you know, at the age of 14, I got through super rich school. And having that opportunity, you know, inspired me to go on and help the community and help a lot of young people in the community. She can then go from there to having hope. <laughs> I do think I'm a street girl like Nancy. I've got a um, raw edge that I can bring to the character and I could definitely relate to some of the experiences that she went through. To win this role, it would be out of this world. And I know my family would be extremely proud of me because I'd be the first you know, member out of the family to have achieved and accomplished this much. When I'm there on Saturday night, I'm just going to be elated watching my daughter on stage. I'm just going to do what I've got to do to be Nancy. When I stepped onto the stage, I actually felt like a star. Cleo, first off, you're a raw talent, you have a strong voice. And I think you're a wonderful actress, Cleo. I'm glad that they can see there's progression there. I feel like I'm being chiselled along the way, you know, a street kid, you know, girl I'm, you know, from an estate, you know, with just raw talent. And I know that as soon as it comes to training, Do it in one breath. I'm put my foot down and I'm just gonna give it some welly. Some people may think that I'm very quiet, but the fact is I don't really want to waste a moment being here. And I just really want to seize the opportunity, you know, and I really need to stay focused with what I'm doing. I'm loving every minute of it and I'm really working hard. And I don't want my Nancy journey to end. I had a bit of a, an unusual upbringing. My father was a wrestler, El Bandito. I would leave Tara in the dressing room with other wrestlers. She sat on the knees of giant haystacks. I don't think it ever, ever has crossed my mind to be a wrestler. <laughs> I've been playing a footballer's wife type character in a Welsh soap, and I've been living in Cardiff where I've made some ace friends, and I'm going to miss them all very much. It will be a slightly more quiet without Tara. She's the queen of partying. Should I be saying that on telly? I believe in work hard, play hard, and now I'm being worked harder than I've ever been worked before, but I'm absolutely... very polished. I don't know if it's just a little bit too polished. You need to remember the rawness of the character of Nancy. Who is not Nancy? Tara. When Denise put me as her lowest Nancy, I was convinced that I was going home. And when Graham said my name, I actually couldn't believe it. It was just the one thing that I wanted to hear. When I think of all my sorrow that I've had you here but then I learned. This polished comment. I'm so not a polished person. So I'm really looking forward this week to being me. The song that I've got is a massive test, but I'm just hoping that I can be myself and show Denise that I've got the rawness it takes to play Nancy. The first week knocked my confidence. Who is not Nancy? Tara. That kind of followed through on Saturday night. It was quite strained at the top. I'm crumbling under the pressure and that isn't me. For the boy. Just that last thing, isn't it? It's yeah, I can on it. normally belt a yeah, D. Yeah, you can. I keep bottling it. Normally, I don't worry about a thing. I just love a party, I love fun. You can sing anything. You've got to believe it again now. You know you can do it. Just as Tara has a confidence crisis, she receives a much needed boost. Hi Tara, this week we need you to show the audience at home the Tara that we know and the Tara that we all love so much. Seeing that was the extra boost that I needed. Knowing that all my mates are back home, cheering and supporting. So come on, Tara! I'm back on board, I've chilled out and I can't wait.